Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I just wanted to film um, kind of just kind of a quick one. Um, I got three knives here that are actually going to be leaving my uh, collection. One that I really just got, and then two that I have been checking out, but are not gonna stick around. So I just kind of wanted to lump them all together. Um, but without further ado, the first knife is the Giant Mouse Atelier, the um, new one that just came out. This is the titanium version. I got this from Knife Center. And I gotta say guys, I am not impressed at all. Um, I've watched a couple other reviews and it looks like they just, the quality control just isn't there and they are very inconsistent. <clears throat> this has an incredibly light detent in my opinion, to the point where I fail it almost every time. It's, it's, I'm just gonna say it's flat out bad. The sound, it doesn't sound great. It kind of sounds clunky. Everything, it's a little gritty. The sound closing isn't great, it's muffled. This backspacer weighs a shit ton for no apparent reason. I I, am, I guess this is brass. Personally, it's not for me. Um, I did right off the bat when I got this. I like this the feel of the scales. They do feel good. Everything's contoured. Um, I like the shape of the blade. I like the jimping here. But it's the action where it loses it for me. I mean, nowhere near a drop shut. You kind of have to really flick it. Like it's smooth, but it's just for 300 bucks, it's not gonna be for me. So this is, you know, the, they call this the mini grand or the at, atelier, atelier, whatever it is. For me, it's not gonna stay. Um, I'm gonna be returning this knife. Didn't carry it, didn't use it, never even threw it in my pocket. It's just, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna stick around. So I didn't wanna harp on that one, but I wanted to, include it because I am sending it back and um, I know that these just came out so just a little heads up I'm I've heard that there are better ones and I've heard that you can tune them I am not going to take the time to do that um, not with a $300 knife um, <clears throat> anyway moving into a knife that I very very much like the Brian Brown knives Raptor this is the, here, wait, I got the seal right here. This is the DLT trading exclusive with the machine satin, marble carbon fiber inlay, and the bronze anno, the black PVD accents. And this is, to me, the most beautiful one. The reason I'm not keeping this coming down to it is just, it's a little big for me. It's a little big and it's a little chunky, but with that being said, this is a phenomenal knife. The action is great. When I first saw it, I thought that the handles were gonna be a little weird. They're not. They feel good in hand. I can get all four fingers on there, no problem. I like this little swedge right here on the top of the blade. It fits my hand nice. Choked up back here, the, the uh, jimping feels good. Action is really good. Um, just a couple shakes and it's down. I really like the reverse flick on this. The thumb studs are great, as you can see. I think you can put, I think there's slots to put O-rings on here if you wanted to, um, but without the without anything on it, it, it feels great. These really do feel good. Middle, middle finger flick all day, thumb flick all day. Um, I think what it really comes down to for me is that I just don't really love thumb studs, and if it is thumb studs, it's not my preference, right? So there's a couple things that are my preference on this knife. The size isn't my preference. It's a little bit bigger. I think it's a, th it's over a three inch. I think it's like three and a quarter, closer three and a half maybe. Um, I don't know exactly, but it's a little big for me. Um, and it's just a little flashy for my style. I like something that's a little bit more fidgety, something that's like a little bit more low key. Um, and while this is, does have a very slim profile, it is a bigger knife in the hand. Um, one thing to note too is when I go for the thumb flick sometimes, my finger rests on that lock bar and it 
it opens but just barely i do feel myself kind of catching on it this has a nice hollow grind it's not very deep but it is it's a good hollow grind i'd say it's standard i really like the tip on this this thing is scary sharp and it comes down to a screaming edge you can see it's pretty thick it's a nice tip no worries of breaking or anything but it comes down to a very thin edge because of the hollow grind I think that this blade is gorgeous and I really love the inlay on this. Wish I could keep it. Funds are just kind of tight and you guys know how to go. The circle of knife, right? Uh, lefty, lefty EDC, shout out to my guy Kev. He uh, made a video the other day of the circle of knife and this is exactly what's happening to this. I like it, really enjoy it, but no, it's not, it's not amazing to me. So off it goes and then Last but not least, I have the Chavez Tack or Tiny Ass Knife. The thing on this that I absolutely love is the detent. This detent is crispy. I mean, just, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but when this thing closes, it is just, of course, the car goes by right so It is just clacky, clicky, clacky. I mean, I can barely pull it out of there. And honestly, I can easily say you cannot fail this knife. It is just absolutely phenomenal detent. The grind is awesome. This also has a hollow grind back here. Pretty nice. Um, I think these are both these, both of the, the Raptor and this, I think, I believe they're both made by Riot. Not 100% sure on that. Um, but the grinds feel very similar, the hollow grinds. This knife is sharp too. I like the blade, classic drop point. I think they missed out here. I mean, there's not a lot of blade to begin with, but I mean, you would be taking such a small amount off to make this a finger toil. I think that it would really help this knife. Um, with that being said, I can get all four on here, no problem. Um, again, I would, I would like to keep this knife. It's just a flipper only, and it doesn't really do it for me. I think aesthetically as well, I mean, the Chavez clip, it is what it is. You love it, you hate it, whatever. But the amount of screws on this thing, I mean, one, two, three, four on the face right there, three screw holes for the clip. I don't know. It, it, it's got the clean-esque look to it, but then I think they kind of ruined it with all these screws here. Just my opinion. Um, it's kind of weird. It's not one solid block. And there's no milling either on the inside of this. So it feels heavier than it needs to be for its size um but with that being said i do like this knife i really want to try one of the larger models um and maybe i will i've been eyeing them but this one will be moving on so just wanted to give you guys a little uh oh, here let me grab it out there but yeah like i said just wanted to hop on real quick do a couple little quick reviews of knives that I will not be sticking around um, for, you know, different reasons. But uh, either way, these are the three. So thank you guys for sticking around. I know we're getting uh, getting pretty close to 100 subs here, and I, I appreciate all the support. So maybe when we get there, I could do a little giveaway or something. I know I don't do a lot of budget knives on this channel, um, but I have a couple Civivis um, that are pretty much damn near brand new. So maybe I could give one or two of those away, but... Either way, appreciate the support, and I appreciate you guys commenting, liking, subscribing, all that stuff. So, yeah, thanks again, and these are the three that will be leaving the collection. This is the Giant Mouse Atelier, BBK, Brian Brown Knives, Raptor, and the Chavez Tiny Ass Knife. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.